John chapter 2, verse 13 through 25, Jesus clears the temple courts. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then responded to him, what sign can you show us to prove your authority to do all this? Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, it has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it in three days. But the temple he had spoken of was his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. Now while he was in Jerusalem at the post Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what that was in each person. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is You Can Be a Dumb Painter 2, episode 6, because we're working on square number 6. So I'm going to hold that back and get my tray boat wax pen out. Draw that out. Should have enough wax. Okay. So it looks like we're still in the eyes. That's number 23. So I'll get my containers out here. And pour some in here for 23. And then we'll give it a shake. Alright, then we'll move this back. Okay. So we're gonna start like we normally do at the top, count across or ten. So we got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to come down again. Make sure they're all below the line here. That's one. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm trying to make sure that they're there. Sitting, they should be sitting. I have to move these over a little bit. There we go. Okay, and we're going to go back over here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's our ten. So it's all white. So all we're going to do is we're just going to fill them in. So I'm going to show you a little bit different method that you can do when you have what we call color blocking. Now color blocking is a bunch of the same color. So this. 10 by 10 square, which is 100 drills, is color blocked because it's all white. Now you can do what we call the step method. So we'll start here in the corner and we'll go diagonally down. Just like this. Just doing the diagonal all the way down to the corner. And 
Okay, and so there's that. I'm gonna get this one off. I'm gonna move my paper up just a little bit. Okay, so then what you'll do is you start on either side, whichever side you wanna go on to. So I'm gonna go to this side. So I'm gonna go to this one right here. So it skips this one. Go to this one and create another diagonal. So all the way back down here. Like that. And then we're gonna go on, just gonna skip one, go right here, and do the diagonal again. And then we're gonna skip one, it's right here, and then do a diagonal, and that's it. So then we're gonna go up here to the top and do the same thing. So we'll skip one. And then we'll do a diagonal again. So now we're doing the top and we're going down. Just keep following the diagonal line. It's right there. Go back over, skip one, do a diagonal, just like this. Oops, didn't have a bead there. Keep going down like this. Go to the next one, you're skipping one. Doing your diagonal. Like so. And you're skipping one, and that's it. So then all you have to do is fill it in. So I'm gonna get my beads flipped. So now I just go and fill in the every other one. I'm just filling in the spaces with a bead. Fill in the space. Fill in the space. Oops. Did that one lay it right? Fill the space in. You can go back through backwards this way. Because all you're having to do is just fill the space in. All the same color, same symbol. And that's how you can do color blocking. So that helps you uh, go faster. It goes, it goes a little faster. Um, also helps you when you're doing the every other ones. Um, you don't have to concentrate as hard on what you're doing, especially once you get used to it. You should be pretty well rounded here on your 10 by 10 method um, of your drills. So I just want to show you something a little different on how you can get things done and can done, get it done quickly. Like I said, it's not a race. It's just, you know, I'm sure that some of you figure, well, you know, a 10 by 10 is a kind of small and I can get other things done if I wanted to and you can. I'm just showing you how to how to do a 10 by 10 and that's just what we're doing across the picture. Let me get some more, shake them up here. And then I'm gonna go fill the holes in again. Just, oops, make sure they're turned over right. Don't want them sticking up wrong. Just fill the fill the holes in. Fill the space in. Oops, didn't pick one up there. And then one more. Right there. And there we go. And there we've got filled in. I can see this one's kind of sticking up a little bit. So I'll make sure. So I'm sure I'm going to finger back over it to make sure everybody's in their place the way they're supposed to be. And they feel like they do. And that right there is your another 10 by 10 um, square. This is square number six. So I hope you all enjoy it.